My name is Theo Lucy, and this is Robin Knight, and we are education majors at the college, Daytona State College, and uh, we're going to present a little experiment that's suitable to be used in an elementary classroom, and the name of it is Underwater Magnets. We are going to find out the answer to this question. Will being submerged in water affect the size of a magnet's magnetic field? That's what we will want to find out. And I think my hypothesis is that yes, being submerged in water will affect the size of that field. And what do you think, Miss Robin? I do not think that being submerged in water will affect the size of the magnet, magnet's magnetic field. Wow, that is so surprising. It seems to me that water would be more dense than air. And so it seems to me that it would decrease the size of that field. But we're going to find out. So let us uh, briefly describe the materials we have gotten together. And uh, we'll go through the procedure. The materials that you will need to complete this experiment are water, enough to fill the can that, or, or vessel that you'll use, two different colored markers, an empty clear container, either glass or plastic would work well. Ours is an empty tennis can, tennis ball can. A paper clip or safety pin a ruler, a magnet with um, a significant magnetism, and string. As you can see, we've tied a string to our magnet. We've also poked a hole in the top of the lid of the tennis ball can. We wanted to isolate water as the only variable that would affect the magnetic field of our magnet. So this is what we've done. You're going to take the safety pin and put it in the bottom of your can, like so. Then you're going to take your string and thread it through the hole in the top of the tennis can lid. Bring it all the way up and then place your magnet inside the can. Securely fasten the lid. I'll turn that so that you can see it rather well. Then we're gonna lower the string little bit by little bit. Slowly, slowly until we see the, mag the paper clip or safety pin pop up. Then at that point, you're going to take one of your markers and mark the string just where it enters the lid. Just like that. Once you've done that, you can take your lid off your container, pull it out, put the safety pin or paper clip back in the bottom, and fill your container with water. Fill it enough so that you know your magnet will be fully submerged when it goes inside. And then we're going to do the experiment all over again. Place your magnet back inside. Securely fasten your lid. And we're going to lower it. I'm going to get down here so I can make sure that I see. Lower it slowly. Slowly until it pops up. Then you're going to use your other colored marker and mark just where it enters the lid. Hopefully enough that you'll be able to see it. Then you can pull it out, remove your lid, pull it out. 
And then we can go ahead and use our ruler to take measurements. You turn the magnet on its side and use a ruler. You can see that wow. without the water and with the water, it's the same. It's about four inches that the string had to go in. So we can see that the water did not significantly affect the magnetic field of the magnet. I think that that's because water doesn't have a significant magnetism itself. And obviously the density just wasn't enough to diminish that magnetic field. Well, my hypothesis was clearly false or wrong. So our conclusion is that being submerged in water absolutely does not affect the size of a magnet's magnetic field. And if you want to perform further experiments with magnets, there are many to choose from. Um, Robin, you had some ideas? For yes, extension? you could. Um, okay. uh, another idea to test whether density affects magnets would be to use a thicker liquid. You uh -huh. could use oil, like vegetable oil, right. or even going up to corn right. syrup just making sure that it's clear so you could see whether or not the density of those liquids are going to affect the magnet magnetic field in any significant way. Wow, that's something I definitely want to try with my future classroom. So remember, boys and girls, keep, keep, exploring. keep exploring. Thank you.